Woodbridge TV softball tonight between Colonia, the Colonia Patriots and the Woodbridge Barons. My name is Mike Forbes. Thanks for joining us. It is my pleasure to be here with Woodbridge Mayor John McCormick and our friend Mr. Phil Hall. So, Woodbridge 6 and 6, Colonia 8 and 7. So, we have kind of a looks like a bit of an even matchup here. That's always the way we like it. It's always fun to do Colonia Woodbridge games. They are two teams, no matter two schools, no matter what the sport. It seems like it's always an intense rivalry uh, when they play football, baseball, you know, wrestling, basketball, hockey, you name it. Um, so this is going to be fun tonight. And, you, and like you say, they're two evenly matched teams. So hopefully, we see a very good game. And there was a threat of rain earlier, but right now we see the sun shining. So I don't see any reason why we can't mm, game, can't get the game in. A little dark here and there. It was just like five minutes ago. It was raining a little bit, but a, a spring a spring shower, no big deal. But who knows? Well, Been raining like mad all day, all weekend, actually. I'm just going to look at the sunshine and hope for the best. What do you think, Phil? Well, I think the mayor is absolutely correct. It is fun to watch two teams. They're cross-town rivals. But more importantly, these kids see each other on a daily basis throughout this great town of Woodbridge Township. And it's always a competitive game, no matter what the score or what the, uh, the, the team um, record is. You know what's interesting, too, is in a lot of these sports, softball and baseball in particular, the kids will be against each other in middle school and against each other in high school. Next thing you know, they're on the same travel team. They're on the same all-star team. Uh, so there's always good sportsmanship. And I should have worn my sunglasses. My goodness, that sun's bright. I'll put my hat on. And the Colonia, Patri Colonia Patriots look like they're taking the field. On the mound for the Colonia Patriots tonight, Megan DeCuna. And catching is Dylan DeCuna. Right now we have Woodbridge's, Woodbridge's starting lineup, Phil. Okay, for Woodbridge Township, batting at uh, number one spot will be Vanessa Morales. And number two at left field, that would be Morales at shortstop. Left field will be Gina Allen. Center field would be Albert Millenberg. Batting fourth at first base would be Samara Ortez. The DP would be Gina, I believe that's Polak. And the starting pitcher would be Madison. Racket. Racket, exactly. Thank you, sir. And Kyle Racket. Kylie. Kylie Racket would be the third base. And I can't see the other one. And Gianna right. Orton is the second baseman. Leah Kripitis is the center fielder, and Gina Polak is the flex player. Thank you, Mayor. And we're just about ready to get underway. You want to set the defense for Colonia? Let's do that. Like I said, we have, looks like we, it seems like we have a sister battery. <coughs> Megan DeCuna on the mound, Dylan DeCuna behind the plate. Playing first, Mariela Spina. At second, Marissa Cardona. Third base is Mia Sutton. And at shortstop, Emilia Carrion. Left field, Arabella Palmieri, Sydney Lenshauer in center, and Laela Nieves around in right. And Vanessa Morales takes the first ball low. I don't see the uh, thing working there, the scoreboard. Ball. Ball, too. That looked right down the middle to me. From here it did, but, you know, we're not right there. And when you're not on the field, it looks a lot different, man. I'm always careful not to be critical of the umpires. Oh, absolutely not. Megan Takuna now with the 2-0 pitch. The only time you... Take, I could ever take issue with ups is if they're not in the right position or they don't know the rule. Mm. Balls and strikes, safe and out. Look, it is what it is. But if they're making a bad call because they should be somewhere else, then you get you can take issue with it. And here's the 2-1. Hard hit. Swung on to short. Over to first. Connor, but not by much, though. And she there's scooped. one down. First baseman scooped that nice. Well, I'll tell you what, Vanessa Morales played a great ball at shortstop. Picked it right up, swung it over. Yeah, she didn't have much time to, to spare. It was a hard hit ball. Well, leadoff hitter is probably leading off because she's pretty fast. See, I think of things like that, Phil. Yes, she I think did. of those things. Woo! 
you'll have no problem deciding whether it's a ball or a strike with this umpire. No, it's nice and loud. Nice and loud. Almost feels like he's mic'd up. That's how loud he is. <laughs> Left side foul. Foul ball. Megan DeCuna on the mound for Colonia. They're eight and seven, as we mentioned this year. Woodbridge at an even six and six. That's pretty cool having a sister battery. Foul ball again. So you see the mound is dirt. They're having problems with this mound. And one of the baseball fields, I think it might be Kennedy's having a problem with the mound. What they should have done, and we said that way back when we put, we, we put these fields in, is just turf the whole thing. But we kind of left it up to the ADs, athletic directors, and the principals. And it turned out to be the anybody who put dirt made a bad decision. There's a nice shot. In the air to left, that's foul. foul. Barely, though, barely. I did the Kennedy Spotswood game there, and that, that mound looked like it was turf. Maybe it is. Maybe it's another school uh, field I'm thinking of. There was one baseball and one f um, softball. Maybe they turfed it since then, but I know the, the turf is a problem because it... No, nice rope, but it's going to be right at the left fielder. Not right at her. She made a good play to get to it. Arabelle Palmieri makes that play. I'll tell you what, the uh, pitcher took a little something off of it. Yeah, yeah, you could tell that, yeah. right? That's it. Was a good pitch. Because she was swinging hard and she was getting around the ball and actually ahead of it, so she took some off of it, lined it right to the left fielder. You wonder if it was full speed if she would have hit it farther. Mm, exactly. Two down now. Whoa. Top of the first, just underway. Girls softball so much more fun to call than boys baseball. No <laughs> offense, boys. Ground ball is going to be foul. That's foul. You watch after the you know the half inning is over. Watch them run off the field. You know the boys are moping and walking, and the girls are sprinting. Because the boys are imitating a pro league. Yeah, That's right. What it is. Girls play with enthusiasm. Mayor, I have to be Ooh. honest with you. A lot of that is your fault. Look at the facilities you give them. <laughs> I didn't give them. I, I mean, listen, you play I mean, under. Yeah, we did give you, them. I get it. But yeah, you play under the light. You got a turf field. Oh, I field. think it's oh, so cool. On. Feels like you're playing pro ball. Even well, me. I feel like a, a sports uh, commentator here announcer. That's on the ground to Amelia Carrion across the first to Spina. And see them running? So watch them. Watch them. They're running in. Yeah. yeah. You don't right. see that from the boys. <laughs> no, the, the fields are good. I love the fact that we were able to do that because, you know, I'll tell you, when I used to drive through Colonia or drive through uh, Kennedy, and you look and see the fields that you're driving by, and they're just mud balls. They're dust balls. It was terrible. Woodbridge High, well, we'll talk about it later. Let's take a break. Going to the bottom of the first, no score. Oh, we're not taking a break, or are we? No, they would have told us. Oh, we're not taking a break. So I'm, I get elected in early November of 06. I go to a Colonia football game at Woodbridge the night before Thanksgiving. And I'm just standing around watching in the end zone, outside the end zone, and the place was a disaster. And that's when they decided we got to do something about this, and then we just kept going with it with all the all the fields. All right, starting lineups for the Colonia Patriots. Leading off, Maricela Cardona playing second base, batting second, Sidney Leshauer, the center fielder. A third, our third batter, Maya Sutton, and she's our third baseman tonight. Batting oh, Maya Sutton played last year with her sister. There were two of them. Batting cleanup, Dylan Kahuna, the catcher. Batting number five, Mariella Spina, first baseman. Batting six, Megan DeCuna, our pitcher, Amelia Carrion, the shortstop, batting seventh, Laela Nieves, the right fielder, batting eighth, and batting ninth, and around and left, Arabella Palmieri. So we go to the bottom of the first. No score. We're just underway here at Woodbridge Television. Colonia versus Woodbridge. And Mayor, not to um, dwell on any one point, but if we were playing this game today after the rain we had oh, the last no two chance. days, yeah, we could have right. played it. You're absolutely right. Yeah, had to cancel. Right down the middle for a call strike. That is one of the better advantages. The field obviously dries very quick.
So but you know, it, was, it got to the point like you talk to Kyle, whose kids played you know high school ball, and and they'd go to other schools, and the fields were good, and you go to our fields, and they're just terrible. So it is nice to be keeping up, if not you know beating the Joneses. I, I got to say, beating the Joneses in this case, Mayor. Madison Racket with a 1-2 count on Maricela Cardona for Woodbridge. The 1-2 pitch. Swung on Single. and in the air to right for a base hit. That ball was hit just over the second baseman's head, Gianno or Ted's. So Colonia has a runner on. Bottom first brings up Sidney Leschnauer, Colonia center fielder. A lefty. City number 32 is a freshman starting varsity. Her favorite subject is, her favorite sport is softball, as I'm sure most of them are. Nice head up the That's middle. That's up the a middle single. through for a base hit. The center field was coming strong, so... She had a rush to second base. Her favorite subject is math. That a girl, Sydney. <laughs> Her most memorable softball moment is catching a ball over my shoulder on the warning track. So Colonia with two runners on. An early threat here in the bottom of the first. Nobody out. And we talked before about the travel. I'm looking forward to playing in the Top Gun Invitational in Kansas City with my club team in June. And that ball is Beyond smoked. Sutton sends it to left. Oh, Last it's out of here. here. Maya Sutton, Colonia third baseman with a three-run home run here in the bottom of the first. Colonia takes an early 3-0 lead. I said she played last year. Her and her sister, I think they were the first and third baseman, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can dig up her profile here. Back to Sydney, though. Sydney said she played at the USSSA All-American Games in Florida in August of last year. So there's a freshman that's played softball in Florida and about to play in Kansas City. That's impressive. Very. And the fact that she's starting here as a freshman proves that she's good enough to play those kind of travel teams. Maya Sutton is a junior only. Favorite sports softball. Favorite movie, Princess and the Frog. Likes R&B and rap. Her favorite subject is French. Oh, here you go. Her favorite moment is when she hit back-to-back -back homers with her sister. There you go. And Maya, you'll be happy to know that there's something else you would like the audience to know about you. She loves pliables. And they are coming to Woodbridge and opening up on May 20th at 10 a.m. No, 11 a.m. Smoked. There's a bouncer to short. In the dirt. Catcher hustling. Very good hustle. Samara Ortez reached out for the ball. She stretched, but between the stretch and the bounce, uh, she couldn't handle it. Went right past it. So Colonia now, again, continuing the threat. They're up 3 nothing. Nobody out bottom of the first. That brings a courtesy up, runner. Brings up Mariela Spina, first baseman for Colonia. Mario Spina is also a freshman. Her favorite movie is The Ten Things I Hate About You. Hope she didn't mean me. That gets away from the catcher. Runner goes to second. Favorite music is Taylor Swift. Favorite subject is English. Most memorable moment is her first no-hitter. First no hitter might mean she has a lot of them, or more than one of them. That's going to fall. No, it, no, it did. It didn't fall. It just didn't get caught. First from, baseman reached out, but she yeah, was on Yeah, from here run. it looked like it was going to skip over her head. That looked like it was going into right field. Yeah, Every, didn't it? Yeah. Everybody's safe. Runners on first and second now with nobody out. Right off the tip of the glove of the first baseman. What? Good try. At least she stopped it. Time is called. Is But the second baseman was there to to pick up the ball after the first baseman tipped it so the girl in second could not advance to third. 
It's a little windy out here, a little cold, but it's great baseball weather. But we had a crowd out here that's rooting for Colonia, and you hear them in the background. They're noisy. Well, we're right next to the Colonia bench. I uh, was, uh, that could be mostly, I guess, maybe Woodbridge fans in the outfield. Yeah, looking out at the, uh, the outfield, they're lined that could up be, That watching. could be both. Yeah, it could be both. So Colonia mounting a threat. Runners on first and second, nobody out. Colonia up 3-0. Brings up shortstop Emilia Carrion. Carrion, my wayward son. Absolutely. Whatever happened to Kansas? I don't know. Hmm. They didn't have too many hits. That they, one album was good, but I don't think they did a whole lot after that, but I don't know for sure. Strike right down the middle. So as Mike indicated, we have two men on first and second, and they're taking a little lead as a... Well, the girl on first is way off, but there's not much chance that they'll try to pick her off with a girl on second. One and two now to carry on. Patriots shortstop with runners on first and second. One out. Could also say carry on luggage. I'm sorry, nobody out. One is carry on luggage. Nobody okay. out. Nobody out. Runners at first and second. We have a count of one and two. And the one-two pitch is Roped. swung on and hit in the air to right field. Throw goes to the cutoff, which is the pitcher. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And the bases are loaded as the runners hold. That's two That's base. the second ball was just over the second baseman's reach. Which is what I was about to mention. If she's played a little bit back, she'd have caught ball for her. Yeah. She's playing in a little bit too much. Well, now you have to play in because you've got bases loaded. And you're Absolutely. Play for the play at the plate. Unless they, it's hard to get a deuce in, in softball. Here comes another courtesy runner. It's hard to get a double play. You almost have to have the ball perfectly hit. And there's a force now at any base. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they're going to probably go home chances, no matter what. Yeah, chances are they're coming home. Nobody's playing where they can get a double play. Mike, who's number five, the pinch runner in first base? That would be Abigail Terabetsky. Okay. Oh, that's Abs. Swung on, foul. I'll tell you, Colonia is aggressive on the on the base. They're coming way off, aren't they? Yeah, but but also the hitters, they're they're right on every pitch. Madison racket, a little bit of a jam. Bases loaded, jam. Nobody out. Bottom of the first. Colonia stalked to an early three nothing lead. Here's the pitch, foul to the left side. Madison's throwing with velocity, and she's throwing over the plate, but they're they're making contact. Again, as the mayor indicated earlier, right over the heads of the yeah. the uh, second baseman and even the first baseman. They're, they're also hit. out in front of a lot of it. That's a, the fifth or so ball down the foul side of third base. Yep. Strike Ooh. three. So that's the first strikeout for Madison Rackett. And the first out here in the bottom of the first. Let's see what they if they change their defense up. They're still playing in. Third baseman's in about eight feet from the bag. Bases loaded, one out. Leela Neves now, the right fielder for Colonia. Outside. I don't think these girls know that they're on TV or their voices are on TV. <laughs> they did, they probably shout a little louder. Yeah, if they knew that, you're right. Bases are full of Patriots. Your right field's playing a little in, closer to the uh, infield. Two and one now to Liela Nieves. Madison Racket trying to pitch out of a jam. See another one down there. I wonder Gen if it's got something to do with the spin she might be putting on the ball. But gentlemen, you're right. Colonia, they're not wasting any at-bats. They're swinging, they're aggressive. The key to it is they're all making contacts and they're moving the runners. Nieves is a sophomore. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, no. He did get There's a deuce. One. 
No, they didn't. Oh, fumbled it first. That's just going to go home. Don't even throw it now. The run scores. That's Two. about the only way you get a deuce is, is if the shortstop did that, took it herself, and fired it. And it would have been on time, but it was in the dirt or in the turf. And again, a first baseman stretch. Tried to make, tried to make a very, very, very difficult play, but uh, she missed it and run it safe. That was a tough play. It's a good pivot, though, by the... Uh, I thought I the just, shortstop had it. I yeah, made a nice, nice uh, play fielding the grounder. Knew exactly where to go with it. Just root a little bit low. So two outs now. Runner on first. Racket just trying to get out of this inning. Check swing foul at the plate. Colonia 5, Woodbridge nothing. Woodbridge TV softball from Colonia Middle. And this is our first production since the great Lee Beckerman retired. Yeah, that's right. His last day was Friday. We had a little cake from him in the office. Had a long, distinguished career with town. And I started working in 92 for the town. He was already there. Hard hit well right hit, to the third smash, baseman. The third baseman racket. Nice play by Across the third baseman. Across Samara Ortiz. And that'll do it, but not before Colonia. Puts a five spot on the board after one inning of play. It's Colonia 5, Woodbridge nothing here on Woodbridge TV. Samara Ortiz was probably pretty happy to see that ball come up a little high and not in the dirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he made a great play at first base. This, this is true. Yeah, Lee uh, retired after 35 years, is yep. my understanding. Yeah, 35 years. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we wish him well as he sails around the world. That's but, um, the cool thing. He's going to, him and his wife are literally going to get in the sailboat and travel everywhere. Well, you know what's even cooler than that, Mayor? When you have a, a person that's more than capable of filling in for a gentleman that's been here that long, it's my understanding Gina Forbes has been here for 33 years. Gina's. Picking up right where Lee left off? Not even left off. She just continues. There's such oh, yeah, an yeah. even flow. You know? She called me on Thursday, told me her first first official duty was to ask me to come broadcast. <laughs> I, I told her, what, a, what an honor. You're yeah, the first one. Hey, not only that, Mayor, but she should get a raise just for asking me to come. <laughs> we'll think about that, Phil. <laughs> we'll think about Don't that. Don't mention the word raise, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I tell you, she's a, she's a gem. And, and the two things that they both have in common is that both of them are dedicated to their craft, and both of them always has a great smile, although I like Gina's better. Don't let Lee hear you say that. Now, Gina's been terrific for a long, long time whenever Lee's not around. Very capable of running TV 35. And she actually has more years than Lee with the uh, township, because she worked in the library before that. Oh, really? Before Didn't she came know that. over, yeah. She has like 37 years in, so. Megan DeCuna staked to a 5-0 lead here on the top of the second. Little dribbler foul to the left side. I forgot. We're standing there sitting here next to Gina's husband. I didn't realize. I mean, I knew that, but I just wasn't putting it all together. Well hit. The Over the right the fielder's head. Right. Going to be a Last double. Be in there for extra bases. Neves up with it. And that's a double for Samara Ortez, the first baseman. Who's up now? Should be... Uh, Gina Pollack. Pollack. So Woodbridge now, the runner on second, nobody out. Giovanna Pollack is a senior favorite sports softball, favorite movie, Mamma Mia. Likes country music. Her favorite subject is art. And her favorite softball moments are bus rides, hype up time with my teammates before and after our games. Foul ball. Would have been a tough play. Five nothing Colonia top second. Woodbridge with a runner on second. Nobody out. Hoping to chip away here. Megan DeCuna on the mound for the Patriots. 
The 0-2 pitch. Rope right up, up the up middle. middle. There's a base hit. It won't score her. Was runner hit too hard to score the run from third. Runner holds it third, as the mayor mentioned. So now we've got first and third for Woodbridge. Nobody out. And who do we have up? Just trying to get ready with my... Madison. Madison Racket. Oh, okay. She can help her cause here. She is a senior like softball. The B movie is her favorite movie. Morgan Wallen is her favorite music. Never heard of them, you guys. No. No. Sorry, folks. But that doesn't mean anything. Our collective age is approaching 200. <laughs> favorite school subject, biology. And her favorite moment was getting the win against South Plainfield with a one nothing victory. That's pretty exciting. Nice. Runner takes second base on defensive indifference, not a steal. I get, do they have that in softball, defensive indifference? As far as I know, they do. As far as I know. But now, Woodbridge with a little bit of a threat. Two runners in scoring position. And no outs, second and third. There's a perfect. bounce of the third. Perfect, perfect play for Colonia. Bounce of the third. She could not go home after the throw. Not only that, but uh, she threw him out at first. First baseman immediately ran towards yep, home yep. plate to cover to make sure that the uh, third base runner didn't advance. That's good coaching. So the runners hold, still second and third. One out now, top second. Same play. Nope, that's going to score her. And it's not even going to get the runner first. Yeah, Amelia Carrion couldn't quite come up with that. So Woodbridge is now on the board. S still a great defensive play. The third baseman actually stopped the ball from advancing into the outfield, rolled off a glove towards the shortstop, and she picked it up immediately, looked at the runners, knew she had no play, and held the ball. Who's up now? Her sister, Kali. Okay. Kali's a softball favorite sport. Softball movie, Matilda or Final Destination. Literally anything is her favorite movie. I mean, music, like science. Loves summer softball tournaments. Oh, smoke! That's lined into center. That'll be extra bases. I think the girl, no, she won't score from first. One run is in. Yes, she will. There's going to be a play at the plate, and she's safe. Got her at third, though. Wow, a lot of action. Two runs scored. Two runs in. They got the runner at third, but Woodbridge is now on the board. Now they're making it a game. 5-3 now, Colonia. Kylie saw the throw go home and went for third. Good move by the catcher. Really good play by the catcher. She ran up to get the ball. Didn't wait for it to come to her because she knew she wasn't going to get the goal at the plate. So she ran up to get the throw and fired a third. So Kylie said, "This is." she said that this year is the last one she'll be playing with her sister. What a nice thing to say. Tell you what, Woodbridge is uh, going to be a little saddened too with the way she hits. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's Madison that's graduating. Kylie's still staying. Oh, okay. Oh, now that the sun is going down, I can see your screen. That looks good. Fouled at the plate. Courtney Cuevas over there coaching third base for Woodbridge. I believe she's the head coach. Courtney Murgatroyd is. Yes. Murgatroyd, right, right. I'm she sorry, is. I used her maiden name. That's why I know her from well, growing I up. I don't want to get you in trouble. But. No, no. I should have remembered. I went to her wedding. I wonder if that's Klepp at first base. It is. It is Stephanie Klepchik. Stephanie Klepchik. My faculty partner at Woodbridge High School. Oh, Roy. Really? All right, Gianna Ortiz, today is her birthday, uh, Mayor. All right. 18th birthday. Wow. Full count now, two outs. We are in the top of the second. 
uh, 5-3 Colonia, but Woodbridge putting up a three spot here in the inning. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. The payoff pitch. Swung Hard on hit. and a bouncer to short. Fielded cleanly. Far to first. Got her. Tell you what, I like that first baseman. She leaned over. She got down, yeah. Went right to her knee. Caught the ball. Footy out. So Woodbridge on the board. After an inning and a half, we go now to the bottom of the second. Colonia Patriots five. The Woodbridge Barons three. Right here on Woodbridge TV. And they put up a five spot in the first inning. Let's see how they do here. You know, I like both teams. They seem to be very well coached. A couple of plays that they missed with the balls were hit slightly over their head. They could have played back a little bit more a couple of times. But uh, they seem to know where to go once the ball is hit, once they pick it up, who they have to throw it to. So uh, both teams seem very well coached. The other thing that uh, must be considered when you look at their overall records, they played some non-conference games against Spotswood. Spotswood is like uh, they lost two games all season. So you got a couple of losses there for each of the teams who to bring their records uh, below. But they're doing pretty good in their own divisions. When do you usually do the crew list? Well, when you give up five runs in the first, it's certainly the next time up you want to do what they just did, which is take three right back. Well, they gave up five. They got back three, so... It's a 2-0 ball game. All right. To the bottom of the second we go. Madison Rackett once again. Getting ready to deliver for the Barons. And Cord Cordona. Oh, gets away from. Oh, she should have gone. Samira Ortiz at first, and so now yeah. Colonia has a runner. Good backup by the right fielder coming in, number 12, or number two is that? Yes. Two. I think if she went straight immediately, she would have been would have been in good shape. I don't think she knew how far the ball went because she never looked at it. So the shortstop's doing a couple short now. She fields them quick, and she releases quick. This is center fielder Sidney Leschnauer now batting in the second position. Nobody out. Colonia quick runner on first. Are we Facebook Live now? Racket with the 1-0. Squared on, bunted right in front of the plate. The play's at first and That's going to lead to a run. That's definitely a run. And the batter's going to wind up on third. One run is in. Maybe all the way. No, nope. They held her wisely. Oh. No need to send her home. You don't want to make that out. Now nah, she's in scoring position. A base hit brings her in. Even a sacrifice fly. So Colonia continues its offensive attack. Here Six comes three Coach now. Murgatroyd tried out to talk to the pitcher. Nobody out. Runner on third. A lot of hard hit balls. And you can hear the crack off yeah, the bat. Yeah. Courtney Murgatroyd talking things over with her pitcher and her infield. I think Woodbridge is going to have to make a uh, an effort to slow the ball down when they're throwing it to first and make a more accurate throw. I know they're trying to get the runners out, and your initial thought is to throw it as hard and as fast as you can, but they have to throw it so that the first baseman is able to catch it. Definitely, but there are some fast runners to first base. I concur. So Colonia has a runner in scoring position. Nobody out here in bottom here in the bottom of the second. Scores 6-3 Colonia. Madison Rackett with the pitch. Inside. Three and zero oh now. Right.
right in there for a call strike one. I'll That's a good what, take, though. Good take. Yeah. Her velocity is up, though, Woodbridge. She's throwing the ball well. The 3 1 pitch. Strike two. Bottom of the second, Colonia six, Woodbridge three. Nobody out. Colonia has a runner on third. And a full count. That swung on to the first baseman, makes the play unassisted. The run scores. Samara Ortiz, really, the only thing she could do is. Yeah, the, get the runner batter on third runner. is very, very fast. Well, not only that, she took a nice lead as soon as the she ball She went hit, right, away, right away. Right away. Didn't give her a chance to look up and throw home. There was no way she would have got her. Surprisingly aggressive, though. Smoked. That's lined into center for a base hit. Colonia does not waste an at-bat no, at all. they are stinging the at ball. At all. Yes. And let's give credit to uh, Samara Ortez at first base when she caught that ground ball going to her and was had a heads up enough not to throw it home to try and mm -hmm. get that play, tag first base and took the out. Who's up now for Colonia? One on, one out. I got to see a number. Yeah, looks like number seven. This would be Mariella Spina, first baseman for Colonia. I think I. Mariella Spina. The 0 1. Swinging strike two. Throw to first, not in time. And the 0-2 pitch. That's in the air to center. The Leah fired. Kripatis makes the play. <laughs> they Got her. They double up the runner on first. She went way too far. Another great play by the center fielder. Good caught throw. the ball, threw it. And on a strike. A little off, but I mean on a fly. Yes, but not only that, man, as you indicated, the runner at first was almost at second yep. before the ball was caught. So she took a great lead, and like you said, it's really, really speedy. She threw it to first. It was off a little bit, but she caught it. It was high. Tag first base and ends the end. Weber's taking advantage of a little base running error. Yeah, she definitely went a little bit too far. Especially the ball was set up in the air. I give them a lot of credit, too, because that sun was probably near in their eyes. It's in mine. Yeah, it comes and goes. Well, if you're in right field, you're looking direct. At this point, you're looking directly. Yes. Yeah, directly well, she, was, the she was at center and going towards it. I don't know if it affected her at all. I wonder why it's a 6 o'clock start. Mostly it's right after school, isn't it? So, oh. Yeah, the, one, the last one I did was uh, 4.30. Top of three now, right? Tell me who's coming up so All I can right, get number, these. Uh, number 12 leading off, leading off for Woodbridge. Vanessa Morales. Number 12. She's a junior. Favorite sport is softball, and she put in parentheses, duh. <laughs> I like that. A little sassy. Favorite movie, Breakfast Club. That's an odd one for a kid. That was a good one. Favorite the, music, R&B. Favorite subject, English. And her favorite, so, most memorable softball moment is her first over-the-fence home run. I can see that. I can see that, too. I never did it, but I can see it. <laughs> Vanessa, the Woodbridge shortstop with an 0-1 count on her now. And I played a heck of a lot of softball and never put one over the fence, except foul ball. That's over the fence, man. It is. I'll take it. I'll take it whenever I, you know, whenever I can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> One and one now to Man, Vanessa I Morales. Even, I can't even see the batter from here with the sun. Yeah. On the ground to short. Across to first. In time. Is that a sun shower I see, or are my eyes deceiving me? That is a sun shower. I can't. In its purest definition, yes. Who do we have up now? Looks like Gina Allen. Gina Allen. I got her thing here somewhere. 
Gia. Gia Allen. Gia mm-hmm. Allen, the Colonial, le- uh, the Woodbridge left fielder, that is, number She's 16. She's a freshman, favorite sports softball, favorite movie is the Goonies. Favorite music, this I've never seen before, Christmas music. All right, I, I can live cool. with that, sure. I can live with that. Little uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Gift that keeps on giving. Ground ball back to the pitcher, easily fielded, and over to first. Inning over. No, not inning over. That's a quick two outs we have. Her favorite subject, this is one you see a lot, Jim. (laughs) Oh, look at this. Most memorable softball moment. This is memorable. This year in our game against Spotswood, I hit a walk off, and we won 8-7. to Sweet. She wants to attend the University of Hawaii and plans to become a dermatologist one day. Wow. Smoked right at the shortstop. And, and there's a 1-2-3 inning for Woodbridge as we go to the bottom of the third. Colonia 7, Woodbridge 3, right here on Woodbridge TV. So she wants to go to Hawaii University, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a little weird. I mean, it's not weird. Everybody wants to go to Hawaii. <laughs> But then, I mean, when you go to Hawaii, what do you do for an encore? Good point. It's all downhill from there. It yeah. Really is. It really is. Unless you stay there. And that's the next time. So, coming up for Kelowna, who do we have, Mike? For the Patriots, here in the top of the first. Temperature really does drop. It is dropping right away, yeah. Looks like Megan DeCuna, Colonia's uh, Colonia pitcher coming up, number 28, to lead off. She is a junior favorite sport, softball. I got to get tired of saying that. Favorite movie, Cars, likes Harry Styles. Favorite school subject is history. And she likes pitching varsity for the past three years with my best friends in the field. Now that is a very nice thing to say. So to the bottom of the third we go. Megan DeCuna on the mound for the Woodbridge Barons. Now down 7-3 to Colonia. Megan DeCuna well hit. sends one to center. It's on the deep, track. but on the track. Oh, oh she missed it. Oh, what an effort by the center fielder. She hit the wall and didn't get in her mitt. Popped it up twice and almost still got it. I hope she didn't get hurt off the wall. She's kind of holding. No, she's waving off anybody. Oh, okay. Leah Krapatis with a great effort. It's tough when you get against that fence. Yeah, that that she would have, if no fence, she would have been all right. Now they're going to go out and check. Coach Murgatroyd's going to go out and check and make sure that's the right thing to do. Her left elbow she's kind of pointing to. Yep. Let's do a replay of that one. Let's take a look at that one again. It was a great effort by Leah. It was well hit. Back to the track, to the fence. But the fence definitely is enough to spook you. Yep. And that's she why made... that she, well, I got a little spooked by how close she was. Because she was on the track. Yeah. So you know once you're on the track, you're close to the fence. Not only that, how exciting was almost to see the home run. But then for her to catch the ball bobbled and try and catch it again. Great yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. That, that would have been really cool to see uh, her catch no that. No question about it. Who's up now, um, Mike? Amelia Carrion looks like the shortstop for Colonia, number I I, six. I think I did her, did I? No, I didn't, number six. She is a junior, likes softball. Favorite movie is The Game Plan. Favorite music is Drake. Favorite subjects, math. Her first home run is her most memorable moment. Bunted well. She bunts a high Fires pitch. Fires the first. Almost beat the second baseman with the throw. And her favorite color is purple or blue. Good coverage by Woodbridge. Second yeah, baseman ran over to cover got the first there. base. Almost, almost not in time, but got there. So Amelia with the sacrifice brings up Leah Neves. 
I think it's Liela. Liela. Is that Liela? Is that how it's L-Y-E-L-A. pronounced? L-Y-E-L-A. Liela. That would be Liela. Liela Neves. That's a pretty Neves. cool name. That's a nice name. That's a beautiful name. Right fielder for Colonia. I've never. Oh, another rope in the gap. That's right going to score field. the girl from third, and she's going to wind up on second. That'll be extra bases. Oh, man. If that throw went. If that throw wasn't cut, she had a chance to get her at second. Look how I aggressive. definitely spoke too soon. Look how aggressive Colonia is playing. She was definitely going for a double. Slid into uh, second anyway, base. Layella's favorite movie is Finding Nemo. Favorite music, rhythm and blues. Subject, English. So Leone with a uh, Leone, a Colonia with a runner with a one out runner on second. They're up eight three. There are Arabella some Palmieri now. Amazingly hard hit balls here. Yeah. Coach Anne Marie Serrano at third base for Colonia. I'm the only one that calls her Anne Marie because I grew up with her around the corner. She was on Atlantic, I was on Jefferson. Her brother's one of my very good friends. Oh, okay. We had a paper out together, we still hang out together. Swung on infield fly. Did you see the play? That Vanessa the Morales makes the play. The, the shortstop caught, yeah, caught yeah. the fly. She and tried to, yeah, tag. yeah, yeah. Very aware. Tell you two well coached teams. Gotta love these coaches and managers for Colonia Woodbridge and. Like to see JFK. fundamentals. No question. That's where it all starts, man. So to the top of the order we go, Maricela Cardona, second baseman for Colonia now with two out, runner on second. The Patriots up 8-3 over the Barons. That swung on in through left field for a base hit, holding the runner on third. Shortstop made a dive and played just outside the reach of a glove. Maricela Cardone is a junior uh, sophomore favorite subject of uh, sports softball, favorite movie, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. There's a joke there, but I'm... <laughs> Let's let it go. I'm not quite sure how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you could ask any girl that ever dated me how to lose a guy in 10 days. There eh? you go. Favorite music, anything by Taylor Swift, likes English, as many of the girls, her first home run is her most memorable moment. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of young ladies who love Taylor Swift. 2 0 now to Sydney Leschnauer, Colonia center fielder. Runners at the corners, two outs. Colonia's a, Colonia's a very young team. A lot, of, a lot of freshmen playing. Madison Racket trying to get out of this. That's a bouncer to second. Cross to first, inning over. But. Colonia now with an 8 3 lead over Woodbridge as we go to the top of the fourth. Let's take a break here. We deserve it. We'll be back right here on Woodbridge TV. Join the Episcopal Church Women of St. John's Church for their annual Walkathon fundraiser. A three mile walk, rain or shine, from St. John's Church Woodbridge in Seawarn to Alvin P. Williams Park, also in Seawarn. The event will be Saturday, May 13th at 9 a.m. Your support will help the ECW provide medical and educational support to children and families at the internally displaced people's camp, New Kuchingoro, Abuja, and Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. For more information, call Nagazi Martin Oguke at 732-634-2397 or Angela Stephen at 848-219-4324. Mike Forbes with Phil Hall and Mayor John McCormick here at Colonia Middle School as Woodbridge TV presents high school softball. Colonia 8, Woodbridge 3 as we go to the top of the fourth. Who do we have leading off now, Phil? Well, right now we have Samara Ortez, the first baseman, number 19. And Mike, the score is 8-3, to three, but no indication of the game. It's, it really seems a lot closer because a lot of them have been making contact with the ball from both teams. And here we go. That's a perfect example. She gets a base hit because it went to the pitcher. She kind of bubbled a little bit. Didn't have enough time to throw it at first, so we got to... And I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember, did we see a strikeout at all in this game or no? Yes, we I, did. We, we saw did. one. We saw one, but it's been all contact yes. otherwise. Well, one, okay. There was one. All right. One strikeout. Uh, it was in the first inning. Madison right. Raker. So Woodbridge with a runner on first. 
That's on the ground towards second. What the tag a play. The, tag the runner for one across what the first. What a play. For the double play. Second baseman picks up the ball, tags the runner, running the second, throws it to first for a double. Marissa Cardona there starting the double play. Nice job. Colonia now has two quick outs here at the top of the fourth. So the pitcher, Madison Rackett, is up. Base is empty for Madison. Yeah, I've signed a few of these in my day. Oh, one count. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swung on foul to the left side. And here's an opportunity. She did get, as you indicated earlier, one strikeout in this game, but she has an opportunity to get perhaps a base hit and help her own cause. Well, Woodbridge down by five. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. 0-2. That's nice. on the ground to short. Amelia carry on. Beautiful stretch by the first baseman. Picks it up and uh, one, two, and three. Okay, pal. We've played three and a half. The score here on Woodbridge TV. Colonia eight, Woodbridge three. As we're going out at the bottom of the fourth. Mike Forbes, glad to be here with you with Phil Hall and Mayor John McCormick as we bring you this contest from Colonia Middle School. All right, good luck, man. Again, temperatures dropping a little bit, but still a beautiful day out here to watch baseball. And fans are out from Woodbridge and Colonia rooting for their favorite teams. And they don't seem to mind the weather a little bit. I see them bundling up a little bit more. It now. is chilly now. I always equate softball and baseball with warmth. I guess I should stop doing that <laughs> because that's not necessarily the... It's not going to be warm I, till Sunday. When I think of the crack of the bat, I think sunshine, but not always. Got to ask those uh, teams that make the playoffs, uh, the Major League Baseball teams in October. Well, we're not going to talk about Major League Baseball to this Yankee fan tonight. No, not me either. Mm -mm -mm. What, eight and a half, nine games oh, out? Oh, I don't not, know. Not pretty. I, don't, I know they're in last place. I haven't looked at the standings, but they're out. I mean, the, the Rays are what, 20 and 3. That's ridiculous. They're going to gonna even out eventually. Of course, but you're now, what did we do? You said we're down 9? Yeah. Well, I think we're... I, I think the Yankees are just being competitive with Boston. I think they're in the same. They got the same uh, record or something. Yeah, but we have so many injuries. So do the Mets, for that matter. All right, leading off for Colonia. I mean, look at right now in the deal. You got Judge, Stanton, Bader, Donaldson, roped up the middle. These balls are hit so hard. Center fielder makes a great play, runs in for it. That's Leah again. Yeah, she didn't have any uh, any ill effects of the collision. So Colonia with a run, a quick runner on first. Who's up now? Yeah, that brings up, I believe, Dylan uh, Dylan Takuna, number 23. There we go. In the air to left. Nice catch by the left fielder. I think that was out of bounds too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was foul. Dylan's a senior. Gia Allen likes pulls baseball. that one in. Sorry. That's okay there. Favorite movie, The Notebook, country music, English, and hitting her first home run against South Plainfield. South Plainfield's, a, I think, a perennial girls' softball uh, powerhouse, a good team. Shortstop I Amelia. I think. Shortstop Amelia Carrion steps up now, and she hits nice the ground play. to the left side. Third baseman Kylie Rackett. Go for the double play. It's a little late at first, but a great play turnaround. But shows you how hard it is. Good attempt. That, she filled that quick, threw it quick. The pivot was quick. Including the runner. Well, the important thing is we have two out now. Runner on first for Colonia, and that's going to bring up Liela Nieves. No. Oh, that's close. Very so. close. This will be uh, Megan DeCuna coming up. Check that. Megan DeCuna, Colonia pitcher. With a 1 0 count and two outs. Bracket with the pitch. Pickoff attempted first. Close. She had a bit of a lead. She's getting far out there. 1 and 1, runner on first, two outs now. 
swinging, strike two, another pickoff attempt. At Three first. in a row. I'll tell you what, Amber Miltenberg, the catcher. He's got a nice, nice move. Yeah. Quick move to game. first. Sure. Or a quick move to first. Here comes the sun again. There's the one-two pitch. See. Swung on, hit in the air, short infield pop, and that'll do it. Samira Ortiz with the catch. Coming up to bat, it's Kylie Rackett. Who's and after her? We've played four. The score, Colonia eight, Woodbridge three. Who's after her so I can set myself up with these uh, profiles? Who's next there, Phil? Gianna Ortiz. Gianna Ortiz, and who's after her? Leah Crispiana. Carpitis? Yeah. You said Samantha Ortiz up for, uh, after a bracket? No. Um, Gianna. Oh, Gianna. Ortiz. Oh, Jenna Orton, okay. Well, I can go over her now while we're at it. She is a senior like softball favorite movie. The Notebook Country Music Psychology is her favorite subject. My most memorable softball moment was hitting Homer at the Autism Awareness Game. In December, I donated my bone marrow to my dad and encourage others to go to bethematch.org so you can help someone in need of a match to help save their life to Wow. God bless her. God oh, bless her. my goodness. That's that's unbelievable. I don't know too much about that, but I know I have heard or understood that it's a very painful thing to do. To donate, too. Right. That's yes. what I mean. Yep. Wow. Jana Orton, good for you. That's pretty amazing. Well, I guess... You're automatically considered a match, right? I don't know. Do yes, I would. I would assume so. Yeah. I had a cousin go through it. It's not. It's not a pretty thing. Megan Takuna with a 1-0 pitch now to Kylie Rackett. Swung on, grounded to second. Amelia Corian over Short. to Mariela Spina, and that's one away. Wow, well, uh, I we still can't get over that, Jana Horton. Wow. Yeah. And we also just want to make mention: Happy birthday, Gianna. Now, who's this, Phil? That's Gianna Orton that's up now. That was, oh, Jets her now? Yes, that was oh, uh, Rackett I, before Kylie I Rackett. Went, I went too soon. This is the girl that mm -hmm. gave the bone marrow to her dad. Wow. Gianna Orton, Barron, second baseman, takes ball two. 8-3 Colonia, top of the fifth, Woodbridge TV. Coming to you from Colonia Middle School, this is Mike Forbes, along with Phil Hall and Mayor John McCormick. These ladies not afraid to swing the bats, gentlemen. Neither team. Not at all. I don't think we right. had a walk yet, did we? No. One strikeout. No, that's right. It's I don't remember a, a walk. It's been all contact. Wow. I didn't even think about that, Mayor. We're talking about in the uh, bottom of the fourth inning here, right? 3-0 oh now. That's in there, taking all the way. Caught the outside corner for strike one. Look at some of the other uh, girls from which Quinn Boyd's a sophomore, like softball. Mama Mia, the movie, Taylor Swift, music, science, and she hit two home runs in one day. Yeah, we spoke too soon. There's we your did. first walk. Quinn is also on the Woodbridge High School swim team and the volleyball team, and she hopes to one day play varsity softball in college. So, Gianna Orton on her 18th birthday takes first base. I'd love to talk to her and ask her what that was like, donating the marrow. I went to a seminar on donations, not particularly bone marrow, but it's interesting what people think about donating organs and things of that nature. And it's really not what you think. Uh, they don't take people who are in car accidents and stuff like that and take their organs. Bounce it a short. Play at second is the only play they'll get. So now we have the uh, number one batter, Vanessa Morales, up. So Woodbridge with a runner on first on the fielder's choice. Two outs, top of the fifth. 
And we go to the top of the order, as Phil mentioned. Win there for a call strike. And that's to shortstop Vanessa Morales. Mike, I can't remember a game, men or women, where I've seen this much contact uh, from hitting. I mean, think about it. One walk, one strike, and uh, there's been contact. I mean, well, this also makes for a very exciting contest because, you know, having watched softball and I umpired baseball, Little League Baseball years ago, there was nothing worse than constant walks. That's foul almost our way. No, you're right. This is a well-played game. When you have walk after walk, it's, uh, it, it's tough. But a game like this where neither team afraid to swing the bat, they come out ready to swing. And the pitchers are throwing strikes. They really are. And the velocity is uh, incredibly high. Here's the one-two pitch. Bouncer foul at the plate. Also for Orbridge, Grace Musselman is a junior. She likes softball. The movie Tangled, favorite music. I don't know what this is. S-Z-A with a circle around it? Za. Za? Mm. Uh, we'll don't. take your word for that, Mike. Yeah, don't ask. Don't <laughs> Za. Don't ask. don't ask, but it's Za. Yeah, I... Favorite subject, psychology. Once again, these girls hit a lot of homers. Favorite moment is first home run, and she wants to be a forensic psychologist. Mm. And that'll do it. Strikeout. So to the bottom of the fifth we go. Colonia 8, Woodbridge 3. You're watching Woodbridge TV. Yeah, when the sun goes down, the temperature does drop, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really chilly up here right now. Of course, now. the fact that we're 25 feet above ground, it kind of uh, brings the temperature down a couple of degrees. But we have a great game going on. Plenty of offense. Everybody's swinging the bat. And they're making great plays, Al. Phil, I was going to say, we've had some yeah. nice defensive plays. Leah with that attempted catch against the fence. That was brave. And I, I love the fundamentals, as the mayor mentioned earlier, around the third inning. You know, even if the ball's hit over the play, the players are coming up, backing them up. The plays at the plate over the first base, the right fielder is running into first when it's overthrown, so they can't advance the, the runners too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, very fundamental things that really affect the game and the outcome. Well, the coaches are... are dynamite players themselves. Courtney Cuevas, now Morgatroyd, it, it was a terrific high school player. Stephanie Klepchek, same thing. They're coaching Woodbridge and Emory Serrano at Colonia was a tremendous player. I think she went to JFK High School. So you, when you got those, that kind of talent teaching you. So Madison Racket goes to work in the bottom of the fifth. Count is now 0-1. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swinging strike two. two Let me give strikes. you Emily Schmidt from Colonia. I don't know if she's in the game or not. She's a sophomore. She loves softball. The movie Mean Girls. I'll tell you a story about that one. Likes Taylor Swift math and, as usual, the first home run. Here's the pitch. So, Swing. Mean Girls. Swung on and dropped. Have to make a play at first. One quick out. It was a very popular movie, I think, with Lindsay Lohan and who knows who else. And they filmed a new... Mean Girls 2, and I think the premise is the four daughters of the four Mean Girls are now Mean Girls 2, and they filmed a couple of scenes at the house at the corner of New Dover Road and Middlesex Avenue in Colonia. They were there for about a week, and then they left and came back, and they were there a week ago Saturday and a week ago Monday to kind of clean up some scenes. And I stopped there, and I was talking to, I guess it was the producer or the director, whoever. That's foul. And um, he said, they, 10 days of filming for maybe five minutes in the movie. Wow. Maybe yeah. five minutes. Wow. Yeah, that's the movie biz. Yeah. It's a little Hollywood in Colonia, huh? The people, the people left their home for the week and then for the long weekend. 
Went to an Airbnb. Nice off the shortstop's glove. That's definitely a hit. They rented the house for a, a large sum of money and went on yeah. vacation to an Airbnb. The people around them rented their driveways and rented their front lawns. All right. The country club made money letting them park their trucks there and providing food. The police that had to work off duty and controlled traffic made a lot of money. A huge production right in the middle of Colonia. One on, one out. The bottom of the fifth. Strike one is the count. Arabella Palmieri is a junior. No, no, she's a freshman. Number 11. That confused me. Favorite sports softball. Favorite movie, Elf. That's not one I like. Oh, diving catch gets it to her. Nice play. Oh, almost a deuce. I'll take what a way. play by the second baseman. I it just flipped it up from her belly. Gianna Orton dives and flips. And not only that, but the shortstop whipped the ball to first, and she didn't get her, but boy, was only a step and a half away. Arabella Great. likes pop music, math, and getting her first home run. I think they all got together and say, let's all say we hit our first home run. It's our most memorable moment. All these girls couldn't have homers. I'm calling for an investigation. <laughs> Oh, nice little nice glove work by uh, That Michael was a Barons. heck of a play. That was, that was pretty. Nice. That was sweet. That was big league level. Bracket now with a 1-0. Swung on right back to Madison. Over to first. And that takes care of One, Colonia. Two more good defensive plays right yeah. in a row there. Pitcher, ground ball, picks it up, throws it to first. We've played five. Colonia eight, Woodbridge three. Let's take a break. You are watching Woodbridge TV. The Knights of Columbus Council 6571 will be holding a blood drive in a blood mobile unit at the St. John Vianney parking lot on Inman Avenue in Colonia, New Jersey on May 21st from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pre-registration is recommended, although walk-ins are welcome. You can register by calling 201-444-3900. Help New Jersey ease the blood shortage. All right, Mike, so here we go. Top of the six, am I correct? Top six is it there, Phil. Woodbridge versus Colonia here. Let me Colonia get some more Middle. of these uh, profiles. And Emily Burns is a senior like softball. Her favorite movie, Hour to Train Your Dragon. Hmm. Favorite music is indie rock, math. And this, there's a conspiracy here, hitting her first home run. <laughs> hey, uh, they all got together and said, let's all answer this the same way. Well, hold on. Is she a senior? Maybe that's over a three, four-year period. Well, everybody hit. You know, it doesn't say when. It didn't have to no, be it either. doesn't say when. Yeah, so. Gabby Montalvo is a sophomore, like softball. Favorite movie, Rocky. That's unusual for a high school girl to like Rocky. She likes country music and Morgan Wallen. Likes English and math. Ground ball up the middle. Right and back to the pitcher. And she has a favorite moment, hitting my first home run freshman year, making varsity as a freshman. And she wants to be a nurse when she grows up. So Gia Allen grounds out to the pitcher, throws it to first base for the first out. Top of the six. Amber Miltonberg now, Barron's catcher with one out. Amber Miltonberg, I think she plays basketball. There's a bounce at a third. She, Amber, is a senior like softball. The movie Twilight R&B Music Forensics is her favorite subject. I'm not even going to say the favorite moment. Give it to us anyway, I'm, Mayor. Okay, hitting my first high school career home run. There you go. Well, she right. just hit a ground out to third and threw it out at, threw her out at first, so. That wasn't memorable. <laughs> so at bat is uh, Ortez, number 19. Samara Ortez. Oh, I got her next. She is a senior also, like softball. Favorite movie, Conjuring 2? No clue. Favorite music, R&B and rap? Likes forensics and psychology. Good combination. Somebody else wanted to be a forensic psychologist. And that's all for Samira. I'm not saying it anymore. <laughs> Mayor, I'm a bit impressed with Mike. He knows a lot of those uh, movies and stuff that they like and the, and the, and the music. I'm, I'm impressed. High school teacher, Phil. Oh, yeah, that, right. There you he's, go. Oh, he's there in you touch. go. High school teacher. There's a big question mark that comes over my head some of those things. <laughs> the light bulb does not go on. Not go on. Two outs. Giovanna Petty is a uh, freshman like softball, the black phone movie, pop and rap, science, 
And at least she's a little more specific, hitting my first over-the-fence home run. There you go. She wanted to paint the picture for you. Samara Ortiz, first baseman, draws a walk with two out here in the top of the sixth. And my last Woodbridge profile is Lita Krapitis. Senior like softball, favorite movies, Holes, favorite music, Lana Del Rey. Favorite school subject, psychology. And a little different take on the most memorable volleyball, volleyball uh, moment says volleyball, but it means softball, robbing a home run. All right. Mm, that's memorable. That's yes. memorable. It's definitely memorable. And Gia now it, with a 1-0 count on her. The whole time I'm reading these, it says volleyball instead of softball. There's a call strike, caught the corner. Two outs, one on for the Barons. 8-3, Colonia, top six. So take away the first inning, we have a tie game. We do. Ah. We do. That's a bouncer just foul to the left side. Wind's picking up a little bit more. That is one beautiful sunset, though, I will it say. It really is. That is a pretty, pretty sunset. And the sky's clearing up. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Barons with a runner on first. It was one heck of a weekend of rain, though. Oh. Yes, it non -stop. was. Non-stop. Non-stop. We got a break yesterday and then a rain today. Any thoughts of landscaping over the weekend? Forget about nope. it. Nope. Nope. Deuces are wild here in the top of the six. Two strikes. Uh, two balls, two strikes, two outs. And here's the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, bobbled by the third baseman, but recovered by the shortstop and makes the play. Yeah, the and first. you know what? Nice play there going to first because the girl was already going to have second. She saw that. She read it right and fired to first. Amelia Carrion with a nice recovery there. So we've played five and a half. We go to the bottom of the six with the score. The Colonia Patriots eight. Woodbridge Barons three right here on Woodbridge TV. And Woodbridge has one more chance to pick up five for a tie. Six to take the lead. There's a nice shot of the of sunset here, Colonia Middle. Sun now the sun's out and it's cold. Yeah, it's starting to go down behind the trees. We're getting shade over the uh, little shadow over the field. Yeah, if you're playing right or first, that's that's murder right right around now. That's tough because you're staring directly, directly into the sun. I wonder the reason why it's essentially not a night night game, but it's a six o'clock game. It's I don't recall ever calling a softball game that started at six. So Madison Rackett takes the mound as she continues. She goes back to work. Yep. Like we said, take away that first, and she's tied with uh, with Colonia. Did we ever did, did you answer about whether we're on uh, Facebook Live? Jeannie, you have an idea? We're on, are we on Facebook? We are! And YouTube. Sydney Leshnauer, the Patriots center fielder, leads off. That should be strike two, if I'm not mistaken. There's a foul ball first. Yep, right? she's a That's strike two. 0 and 2. She was going for the slap hit there. She must be fast because when lefties can do that, boy, they're they're golden. Yeah, they're dangerous. Yeah, she's slapped. She's trying to slap it to the other way, and she'll get down the line before anybody knows what happens. Yeah, but the third baseman's right on that, though. So yeah, she's playing must have the scouting report. She's in. She'll start going in after the pitch. There she nope, she didn't do it that time. One ball, two strikes, nobody out. Bottom of the six just underway. And the pitch swung on. The bouncer to short. Got her. She gets down the line fast. Yeah, that you she said. Gets down the line fast. You could tell. That was Vanessa Morales on the stop, the short stop. Picks it up, throws it to first, and got the out. Got her, but barely. Jordan Prabilla is a senior, so like softball. Anything Rihanna on music. And her favorite moment was catching a line drive in left center. She must have ran for that one. 
And the last one for Clonies, my girl Abs, Abigail Terabetsky. She is a junior, likes softball and bowling. Her favorite movie is A League of Their Own. Another cool one for a high school kid to be picking as a favorite. Likes alternative music, science, and hitting a homer. That's a bouncer. Fair ball, just fair long. No, no, no. Did it, was, they call it foul? It must have, yeah, because the yeah, first right. baseman came off the bag. Okay. Didn't see the foul calls. That makes it an 0-2 count with one out. I didn't see the call either. I was just watching the first baseman, and she walked off. Dead giveaway. See, we figured that out all by ourselves. Maya Sutton. Oh, Swung she makes on. this. Nope, not nah, just too nope, fast. Nope, not quite. What a play by the shortstop, though. Nice effort. Good effort. Yeah, yeah. Both <laughs> shortstops tonight are very, very good defensively. Not only that, Samara Ortez stopped the ball from being overthrown. Yeah, she had, to leave, she had to leave the bag, but that was a good play yeah. to keep it from going into foul territory. So Colonia with a runner on first, one out. Ooh. Got her. Got her. Double got play. Her. Man, nice. that's two here double I am, plays, yeah, here man. I'm saying how hard it is to you get just, a double play in just, softball. You yeah. just don't see that in softball. That no. ball was roped to third. You don't see that in softball. Well done. And that second baseman played it very well. What a good pivot. We've completed six. Colonia eight, Woodbridge three. So this is it for the Lady Barons. So the last... The third, fourth, fifth, and sixth inning has only been one run scored by Colonia. So it's been a pretty close game uh, after that. Well, as the mayor pointed out, without that first inning, we'd have we'd have a very close game. Yeah, you'd be tied. But uh, that, that offensive explosion by Colonia, that kind of that kind of set the tone. I think both teams settled down after that. Because they were definitely hitting and making contact. Balls went over a few people's heads and just barely. Another entry or two here or there. Could be a different uh, score game. Well, it's a game of inches. We know that. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I've, we've seen a lot of well-hit balls today. I mean, oh, yeah. I was just going to say yes. that. Very hard hit. Yep. Several to the fence. This is my first game of the year. Oh, okay. So I have nothing to go by this year. And I probably called some games last year, but I don't remember exactly. You know, the last three years, we didn't do a whole, whole lot on TV. Well, we didn't do a whole lot playing for real because of the, the pandemic but yeah. it really seems like today balls are harder hit than normal it's great to be alive man great to be out and watching the Woodbridge Barons against the Colonia Patriots top seven Madison Reckett leads off for for the Woodbridge Barons women's softball Woodbridge Township Top seven, last chance now. The count is 1-0. and Dacuna with the pitch. And we're at the 75-minute mark, and we're in the last half inning. We're in the seventh inning. This would not be happening if this was baseball. Yeah. Wind up. In there for a call strike. I tell you, if you haven't gotten out to uh, watch women's softball, varsity, with our local teams, JFK, that's a ball, Colonia High School, and Woodbridge, you need to. If you have nothing to do, come on out and enjoy the weather, enjoy the games, and you'll be very, very surprised. The athleticism of these young ladies is just fantastic. Ripped foul. Count remains, uh, count now three and two, full count now. Nobody out, top seven. Woodbridge needs five to tie, and it's certainly, certainly within their capability. Tacuna with the payoff pitch. That swung on, and slow roll to the short. Oh, she fired and that, and she had to. In time, yeah. I'm impressed with that shortstop in the first baseman. That first baseman can stretch. She doesn't miss anything. Kylie get down there fast. Like I said before, I'm impressed by both shortstops in this game. A lot of balls hit there, but they're fielding them pretty much flawlessly. 
and they're making smart plays wherever the plays at whether it be second first holding the runner third baseman Kylie Rackett now steps in count is one and oh one man away one person away right you watch baseball for 66 years you tend to it's stuck in the lingo. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's in the well air. Hit, in the gap. Right. That's going to fall for an extra base hit. Another hard hit ball. Double. No play on the play. Kylie in there with a stand-up double. So now Woodbridge trying to stay alive here in the top of the seventh. Well, there's no giving up for either one of these teams. They're going to play hard right to the end. There's no doubt, Phil. There's no doubt. That brings up Gianna Orton. Runner on second, one out. Here's the pitch. Swung on, foul tip, hung on to. And the 0-1 pitch. Outside, ball one. Kylie Rackett at second for the Barons. And the 1-1. Swinging strike two. Still have the Colonia fan base here yelling uh, They're a little quieter, team. though. They're a little <laughs> quieter. I think the, they got a little cold themselves. <laughs> Got a little colder, they got a little quieter. Yeah, they're still cheering the team on, though. I that, love it. That ball looked like it had a little movement on it. Looked like it had a little break. Two and two the count. Takuna with the pitch. Roped. That swung Look at that, that shortstop is good. Not only does the shortstop grab the ball, throw it to first, get the out, the first baseman runs yeah. in to stop the... Uh, but look how, like, smooth she is. Yes, no question about it. That's Amelia Carry on it short. Nice job. Very, very impressive. Yeah, she just has a good, like, movement. Woodbridge now down to their final out. And that's Lear up at bat, am I correct? Yeah, that's Leah Krapata, second, uh, second, the center fielder for the Barons with an 0-1 count. Trying to keep it alive for the Barons. Woodbridge with a runner on second, two down, swinging strike now, two. Down there, final there. strike. Again, Woodbridge, if you get an opportunity, come out and support our teams. Here's the 0-2. High and tight for ball one. But if you can't, channel 35, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, these are all recorded, so if you missed it, you can catch it. Of course, if you missed it, you wouldn't be listening to us telling you can catch it. Fly ball, deep to right field. In the, right. In the gap, almost over falls. the fence. One run is in. Play it third. Safe. So, trying to make it interesting here in the last inning. Two out, a triple. So, an RBI triple now. Nice base running, too. She was around there like a gazelle. Yes, she was. And the ball was hit to the warning track. Both uh, center fielder and right fielder was right on it, threw it in. But she but right beat, split the difference. It was right between them. Right between them on the warning track. Either way, the other side, maybe someone has a shot. <coughs> So, so the top of the order of Vanessa Morales. Well, you can't ask for more to your number nine hitter than to get a triple with two outs and two strikes. 8-4 well, now, that's Colonia. That's clutch. That is total clutch. Seventh batter got a double. Then we got one grounded out. She was on second. She hits a triple, scores one run, and she's on third. Top of the order up. The 1-0 to Vanessa Morales. In there for a call, strike two. Vanessa the Baron shortstop. 
Runner on third, two out. Barron's trying to keep it alive. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That's on the That's ground. That's not short. who you want to hit it this to. <laughs> might be it. That is not who you want to hit it to. What a combination. To. Short stop to the first baseman. Yeah, they had a good night. Both so, teams had a good night. Absolutely. Fabulous game here at Woodbridge TV. The final score, Colonia 8, Woodbridge 4. And we'd like to acknowledge our crew tonight, without which you would not be seeing or hearing this game. On camera, Emil Brandathi, Adam Chinoy, Valentino Lamata, and Ron Wyatt. Our graphics person tonight, Samantha Roth-Green. Our replay person, Bruno Martins. Our technical director, Joe Fernandez. And our director tonight, Gina Forbes. So, Mayor... John McCormick, Phil Hall, excellent game. And like yeah, you said, fun if, game. if not for that first inning, it would have been a, a whole different ball game. Literally a different ball game. And we want to congratulate Gina Forbes on our first assignment. Yes. Thank you very much, young She's lady. She's in charge now. Yeah. Watch out. All good things to come. Thank you, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Mike Forbes, Phil Hall, Mayor John McCormick. Thank you for watching Woodbridge TV Softball.